All righty, so I'm back. Uh, let me get a mic check. Tried to upload it, and um, it just wouldn't process, so I figured I'd use the program to upload it in a live stream. The reason why I'm replaying this is based on the fact that there are a few notes that I need to add to this. So what we're going to do is just uh, go ahead and get to it. All righty. What this video is going to be about is how to get a door that will not open. Open. It's actually unlocked. All right. Now, most cars, you have a door that will not open on the inside or outside. And nine times out of ten, what has happened is the car may have sit too long or it has not been lubricated. And the lube has wore off to where it creates almost like a, in some cases it's rust. And in other cases, it's just debris. And it will not allow the mechanisms to engage or disengage. So you need to uh, a prevention uh, remedy is to oil down your lock mechanisms. Just do it while your doors are open. But once they close, this is the way to open it. Once they lock and you can't get them open on the inside or outside, this is the way to get them open. You can't get it open. The only door would open on this car is the driver's side. This is a 1993 um, Infinity. All right, customer just bought this car and they had to crawl in and that's why the door panels is off. I got to put them back. It's pretty clean. Only got 130 some thousand miles on it. But anyway, the only door would open was this one. All right. So I'm about to get this one open. I already got the uh, driver's side. And that's just um, lithium grease. Got to oil the doors down. And the latch popped off this on the inside and because the, the clip was broke. So I got to fix that. But it opens now. It wouldn't open at all. All right. This door same way itself. It opens inside and outside now. It wouldn't open before. All right. So what I'm about to do is get the. Um, I'm about to get the other one open over there. Now, tell you what it is. Nine times out of ten, if your door will not open on the inside nor outside, it hasn't been lubed in a while, a bunch of buildup has acquired, and the way these newer style cars are made, you know, and I say newer style, is um, 90s and up, basically. Um, the older cars are made out of a lot more durable material, metals, steels, what have you. But anyway, nevertheless, um, you're going to have to get this door panel off or the door panel off the door that will not open. And in most cases, you cannot get the door panel off. So you will at least at least need to pry the top of the door panel up and out to where you can reach a um, stiff rod with the hook in it to be able to operate the mechanism up and down while if you can split uh spraying lube in there okay so you don't have to get the door panel all the way off sometimes you cannot get the door panel all the way off unless you break it so if you can get the top back which i will show you which you will see later in this um stream or video or what have you um, if you get it back just enough, you'll have enough room to reach the stiff rod down in there and move the mechanism up or down while trying to spray some lube in there. Um, if not, you just pull it up. I suggest just getting it up or down, whichever way it takes. Make sure the door is unlocked and pull up or press down. Nine times out of ten, it's up. And while pulling on the inside of the handle or the outside and get the door open, then get the rest of the door panel off. That way you can actually lube it and work the mechanisms before you reinstall the new door panel. You have clips all the way down here, depending on the door on the front. You have screws at the bottom that you can't get to. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Sometimes you may cause a little bit of damage to your door panel. But I mean, do you want your door open or not? And in some cases you won't, depending on your setup. 
some of them you could take the back seat out of and get to the screws, but the majority of them where it bolts together at, um, it's a deep lip right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get it open. All right. From the inside and out. So you're going to have to, hopefully your windows is working and you can get the window down. So once you get the now some cars, your window only goes down so far. This is this is as far as this window will go down. But I have en enough room left to pry the top of the door panel back. All right. Some of your windows go all the way down. If they go all the way down, that's all the more better. But be careful. And take it slow because you do not want to break your glass because you'll be then replacing a window. You can do it without breaking the glass. Just be patient. And persistent window down. Let me grab some tools. Want to show you what I'm working with and some lithium grease, but of course, got my flashlight so I can see down in the door. Have a, a nice metal rod to be able to make the wet mechanism work so I can get the door open. Um, and then I have a screwdriver. So, what I'm going to do. As you can see on this door, when I roll the window down, it doesn't roll all the way down. You don't want to break the window. So what I'm going to do is on this car. Um, now, I want to make a note. I just use what I had right there at my disposal. I could have went in the garage and got a bigger screwdriver, flathead, preferably. Um, but, you know, I just had it right there and that's what I use and it worked. But use a uh, I prefer using a uh, flathead screwdriver a little bit longer. And um, that way your leverage is a little bit greater. Let's continue. I can't even really show you. I can on the um, this door panel. You have to pop the. Um, there's a screw here. OK. A little rubber there screw there. There's another screw under here when you pry this up. It depends on the vehicle. Your uh, switch covers. Your switch covers nine times out of ten is going to be a screw up under there. So you really want to unhook that. All right. Pull that out. Pull the cover off. If there's a cover there, you want to take that screw out. And on this one, let's see. There's a screw right there. So I'm going to take that screw out. I'm going to take that screw out, if you can see it. Excuse me. That screw out. What I'm also going to do is take this cover off right here. All right. Let me do that, and I'll get back with you. All righty. Now, as you can see, I got that screw out of there. I got that screw out of there. And I also have the cover off. Now what I'm going to need to do, because I can't get to the clips behind here or over here. What I'm going to need to do, what I'm going to do, because the window only go down so far. I'm going to take and I'm going to pry. There's a lip here. Let me show you. There's a lip on your door panel. All right. There's a lip that recess over a piece of metal on your door. So you want to lift this up and I'm going to show you. I'm going to use this screwdriver and I'm going to use this small pry bar. And I'm going to be able to get this door panel pried back far enough to be able to reach the mechanism. Right. And pull it up and get the door open to where I could clean it up, lube it down, work it back and forth and get it to operate as it should well i believe that door is locked yeah i believe that door is locked let's see get it to operate as it should because when this car came in it only had one door that worked all right this was the only door that worked all right and i don't know why when you shut it it locked itself but oh well but anyway, let me show you on the front door. 
you have this cover and there's a screw under there you have to pop this off the switch window uh switch and there's a screw under there and there's clips all like on the front door there's a screw here behind that cover screw behind that cover screw behind that cover screw behind that cover and then there's little clips here and here okay so the front door is a little bit harder but you still pry it up the same way up here if you can and get this back so you can get a rod down there and get to the mechanism that operates this all right so just give me a second let me uh well here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do it because i don't have my tripod out here but see i get up under there and i'm gonna find get as close as i can to the window and as you, as you can see there's a little piece of metal here that that latches over so i'm gonna get that up in there and i'm gonna pry I, let me get it pry forward all right um i need to do a little bit more I need to get over a little bit. you want to pry up and forward but you also want to use a flathead screwdriver that's a little bit longer than the phillips screwdriver i'm using but i just decided to make a how-to at the time that i was doing this this morning a little bit more it's hard to do with one hand I'm going to get over a little bit more, and I'm going to try to pry it the lip over. Hold up for a second. All righty. Let me, uh, let me get this uh, pried back. But like I said, you want to pry it up and back. And I'll give you an idea as to how I got this door pan this lip off. I'm trying to not tear up the door panel. But uh, let me get that, and I'll get back with you. All righty. Now, as you can see, I was able to get that pride back. Let's see if I can get it. You really can't see, but that's the metal. And I'm going to take my pry bar and I'm going to maneuver this back. I was able to get in a little bit further like this and press it back like that. Now, what I want to do. Now, it's about to come up. Now, you do want to move the front seat up out your way. <laughs> As well as if you can take the little uh, pillar panel off, which I will get to in a second. Let's see if I can do this with two hands. Grab my screwdriver and catch the bottom lip so I can pry back off the edge. You see it right there? And then I'll take my pry bar, right, and move it down here and keep going until the top of it pops back. All right. So let me get the rest of this door panel off, and then I'm going to show you how to, um, each car is a little bit different, but it's the same idea. You have to get this door panel off, okay? You have to get it off. All right, so let me get this door panel off, and then I'll talk to you about the mechanism. All righty, so I forgot to tell you as well, it's like this center pillar. If you can't, get that bottom cover off, which is this. Get that off as well, because when you start prying the door back, It'll start going forward. It'll move out your way just enough. We'll have to put this seat up. Let me put this seat up. Got to get the seat out your way. All right. Now, I pretty much dislodged the door panel. Now, I got to get back here. Make sure you don't break your window. All right. I just got to get it back far enough. And that's enough. To where I can get down in there to the mechanism. And the mechanism. That's enough. That's all you have to do is get the top of your door panel off of the door itself and get it back far enough where you can reach down in there with a rod to open, uh, to operate the mechanism while either use uh pulling on the door handle from the inside or the outside to get it open and then you go from there is this so what you want to do because it's going to be hard for me to show you without the panel off you want to get a rod like this a very stiff rod a closed hanger is not going to work 
and you want to get it down in there, get it down in there to where you can reach the mechanism and work it up or down or left or right while pulling on the inside handle or the outside handle. So like and nine times out of 10, it's up or down. And the majority is up. Some of these foreign vehicles and different makes and models, but uh, it's different. But once you look down in there with a flashlight, you'll be able to see the mechanisms and figure out how they operate. You want to oil every single one of them down. Everything that moves, lube it down. Let me get that done and I'll explain to you what I did. All righty. And as you can see, I got the door open. Now, what I had to do was take this rod. I can't show you because you can't see it. And you have to look in there and with a flashlight, right, and find the mechanism that moves. Uh, let me see if I can get the light on it. I don't know if you can see. I know you can't see it down in there, but it's down in there and it moves upward. So on this one, I had to hook it and pull up while engaging the inside door handle or outside door handle. Now, if I shut it again, it probably won't open. So what I'm going to have to do is go ahead and get my rod up out of there. Get my rod up out of there. Open the door. Take my pry bar out. All right. And what I'm going to have to do is let me set this down. I got to take this door panel off. All right. Got the door panel off. You want to unhook unhook all your wires let's do that Alrighty, wires is unhooked, door panel is completely off. You want to rip this uh, water barrier off. It's factory. You have no other choice but to rip it off. And I'm going to detail the vehicle too. They just bought it yesterday. So, But what you have to do now is all this. I wouldn't use WD-40. I would use lithium grease. Now, you best way is to use W. If you can, use WD-40 first because it's more runny, and it'll rinse it down kind of, but then come back with lithium grease if you do it that route. Okay, so I have to oil and lube the crap out of this while moving it back and forth, and I'm going to lube everything in there, and you cannot see. I, I, I just can't show you because I cannot... The camera's not going to pick it up. It's just not. Um, it's not enough room in there. But as you can see, it's different mechanisms in there. Latches and things. You want to lube everything down. So let me do that. And let's see if it'll open back on its own. All righty. So I got the doors open. Open it from the inside or outside. I'm still lubing it though. I can lock the door, it won't open. Unlock the door. And that's the thing. I gotta keep lubing it because when I there we go. But they could they wouldn't open at all. Alright, I'm steady lubing. But that's all you gotta do, alright? Get that door panel off. All that mechanism in there, every mechanism in there, all the crap out of it. Alright? And you'll have your doors open yet again all right hope hopefully this is an educational video for you all four doors now open when it came to me only one would open all four now open all right 
It's not real complicated. Did I lock this one back? Yes. It's not complicated. Now this one, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm still oiling them because when you lock them, then they tend to stick back. I'm still oiling them. See, I'm oiling the crap out of them. I shouldn't have hit the lock shit because I wasn't done. Uh, there we go. It's just you got you got to keep see it sticking and won't close. You got to keep oiling it. It just takes time. You got to keep oiling it because it'll keep sticking. You got to keep oiling it. See, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot on this one. I forgot. That's why I wasn't opening from the outside. The clip popped off for this one that operate this. All right, but you got to keep oiling it. The driver door didn't open when it came. And again, this is just silicone. This is just lithium grease. I'm going to detail the car. And this got that electrical thing on it where it locks the doors on its own. I really don't like those cars. But again, I'm still, I'm still oiling them. You got to keep on oiling them. That's just how it is. All right. And that one will pop right back open as soon as I get it lubed some more. It was doing fine. I let it sit. Now I'm going to go back and pull that mechanism. Let me grab my rod. I'm going to go ahead and pull that mechanism up. All right. And oil it down some more. And I well, I ran out of oil is what it is. So I'll go grab some more oil, WD-40 and lithium grease. Now watch this. I'm going to move the lever up. Watch it open. It's locked. Yeah, it's back locked again. All right, hold up. There we go. Should have opened. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Hold up for a second. I'm going the wrong way with the rod. I mean, with the. Again, got it open. Like I said, I got to oil the crap out of it. I got to oil it. See, it's opening again. I just got to re-oil the crap out of it. So just take your time. Take your time and make sure you oil it real good. And you'll take care of the problem. Don't have oil it. Don't have oil it. And then put your, what's up? Then put your uh, door panel back on and then stick again. So just go ahead and take the time to oil it real good, and you'll be all right. So I'm out. Peace. Hope, hopefully that helps you out.